So out of all the times I showed you guys Ubuntu 22.04, I haven't showed you guys how to tweak the system and make it look a little bit different from the way it comes out of the box. So let's check this out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today what I wanted to talk about was customizing your Ubuntu install. Now we all know Ubuntu comes with the default desktop of GNOME. Uh, you can also get other flavors, but I want to focus in on GNOME and show you guys how to actually tweak it a little bit. And coincidentally, that's the name of the tool that I want to show you guys how to install. It's called the Tweak Tool for GNOME. And this will allow you to customize GNOME to make it look a little bit different from the way it comes out of the box. So let's hop over to the website right fast so I can show you guys the tweak tool. And then I'll hop over to the virtual machine and show you guys how to get it installed. As well as go through some of the tweaks that you can do with your system. So let's get started. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So I'm at the GitLab's page for GNOME Tweaks. And that's what it's called now. It used to be called like Tweak Tools or something to that effect. Uh, well, this is the actual official package. Uh, and I just wanted to go here just to show you guys what it, you know, the source code and as well as the information about it. You can build it from source, uh, you know, and all the stuff, all the, you know, information about the application. But let's go on and uh, get it installed on our Ubuntu 22.04 install in a virtual machine. All right, so we are on our virtual machine. And one of the first things we need to do is enable a repository that's already on the system. So if we go to the start menu and type software, that'll you know bring up this software and updates uh, application. Uh, and this will allow you to add a repository and it looks well turn it on and what i'm talking about is the community maintained free and open source software which is a universal repository you just basically want to verify that that's turned on sometimes it's turned off but you know if you if you need to turn it on just go in here and turn it on and that'll allow you to install the tweet tools now all we have to do is go to our terminal and i'm gonna show you guys two different ways because you can actually go to our uh, software center and let's wait for that to come up and i'll show you guys how to get it there but i'm gonna install it from the command line um but you can install it from the software center like i said it's super easy um now all we have to do is go to the search and type tweaks one word and press enter should be able to find it it'll, it'll search for that so gnome tweaks that's essentially what we're doing it's advanced gnome features um now let's go down and uh close that because i'm gonna go down and install it from our command line the first thing you want to do is update your system which i know the system is already up to date but let's go down and refresh those repositories anyway before we do the install so let's go through check all those repositories and as you can see we do have some updates so let's go down and update it i thought this thing was you know fully up to date but and it looks like it is it's just some stuff is being kept back so we're gonna ignore that for right now so we can go down and get this thing installed and all we have to do is type sudo apps install gnome dash and i'm gonna tab it out but dash tweaks press enter now to go through and install it and the reason it didn't ask me for my password because i had just typed in the upgrade command and it asked me for my password word then uh in order to get that installed now we are good to go we have gnome tweaks installed that's it's very simple to install now let's go down and find it right fast now we can either go back to the terminal like some people you know open all the programs from from the terminal and you can type gnome dash tweaks and press enter and that'll open up the application as well 
but uh, what I recommend is, you know, obviously going under here, type gnome, uh, tweaks, and it's actually called tweaks. So you can just search for tweaks and I'll bring it up. Uh, but yeah, we can open up known tweaks from there. Now let's go through all the, you know, the things that you can do with the tweaks uh, thing. Uh, so as you can see, suspend when laptop is closed, you can turn that on, turn it off. Uh, now, this is one of the best parts right here, the appearance section. Now you can go through and modify these themes, you know what I'm saying? They got your application theme. So right now it's using a the system theme. I believe it's Yuri Dork, but you can go through add custom themes you know go through and you know change them if you want to you can also change the theme of the cursor uh so if you want it to look a little different i don't know um you know that'll change it or whatever uh the cursor and the icons you can change up the icons make the icons you know look different let's go on change some of them up some of them um require you to log out but let's just go through and just make some changes. Yeah, as you can see, the magenta. So it's changing that. Uh, you know, we got olive dark. That's that green. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to the regular uh, Yari, Yaru. I'm sorry. And then down here, you can modify the shell. Where well, there is another package you can install. It's called uh, GNOME Shell Extensions, I believe. Uh, but anyway, you got your sounds, the Yuri sounds, that's all built in. Uh, you got your background images, you know, you can zoom in on it, the lock screen image, you can modify it there as well. Now, here's some more cool features. You can go through and make changes to the font. You know what I'm saying? You change the sizes of the fonts, you know, all that good stuff. Um, uh, hinting, you know, slight hinting, scaling factor, you can scale. Um, oh yeah, monotech, monospace tags, uh, legacy windows, uh, titles. So like those titles right up in there, when you open up a window, uh, you can change the font to that. That's the way to kind of modify a lot of that stuff. Now keyboard settings. Now uh, show extended input sources. So you can, you know, tweak the keyboard. Uh, Emacs inputs, uh, overview shortcuts, you know, left super key. That's that's the super key, which is typically the Windows button. So that's that. Uh, the mouse, you can change acceleration. You can change, you can set a profile for it. Uh, the acceleration profile. So you got your pointer location. Uh, press Control T key, and that'll highlight it for you. So if we hit Control now, that'll highlight. It should highlight our mouse. Let's see. And it may not work properly because I'm in the um, virtual machine um, or I may have to restart it. Um, but yeah, you can change that on by pressing the control key. You know what I'm saying? And that will, you know, highlight your mouse. Uh, middle click paste. You can uh, make that or turn it off if you don't want it. Uh, touchpad, disable while typing. Uh, and that's one cool thing because I used to have a, a laptop. And the touchpad was like very sensitive, you know, like I would hit it with the side of my um, uh, hand right here, uh, my lower thumb area would tap my my uh, touchpad and it'll, you know, it'll change somewhere to move the cursor somewhere totally different from where I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? And select something that I didn't want to select or something to that effect. Um, and it really annoyed me. I, it got to the point where I just turned that touchpad off completely. But yeah, that's one of those features as well. And a lot of these features that come with this uh, touch, this uh, tweak tool, really fix issues, you know, that typically pop up when you're trying to do certain things and, you know, it, that mess with your workflow. That's essentially what a lot of these tweaks are for. You know what I'm saying? There is some customization, like I said, like I showed you guys. But a lot of it is, you know, it's tedious stuff that may, you know, may be wrong with not the GNOME operating system that you could tweak and make it, you know, a little bit better for whatever you're trying to do. Now, start up applications, you can go in here and add your start up applications, just like in the regular settings. Uh, this just allows you to do it here as well. Uh, touch bar. Now, uh, this is one cool feature I like about it. Uh, you can add the weekday up here. Uh, you typically can't add that up there, but you can add the weekday. Uh, so like I said, a lot of these things were, you know, like things that you wish you had on known, 
but it, it's not there so you have to install this package in order to get it so this adds the day if you want the work the weekday um dates you can even put the seconds up here you know what i'm saying and that's something that a lot of people want to see as well uh the week number if you want to know that week number uh, i believe if you click on here you can see the week numbers now yeah there we go so we're in week 44 november 1st so that's super cool and i think it's not there yeah it's not there yeah so that's exactly what it does it adds it to the calendar uh the week number now windows to uh title bar and i apologize up here what i was saying i think under uh it was something under here application fonts hold on hold on it was under here window titles that allows you to change the fonts on it i think this allows you to hold on I think this allows you to to do certain things with the title bar so double click uh toggle maximize so you double click that maximizes so you could change that uh you can make it to where it minimizes if you want to or maximize horizontally or maximize vertically uh toggle shade uh lower minimize you know so you can make those changes there for that uh middle click so if i middle click here that'll lower it so if we middle click looks like it's not working but let's see if if i change it to minimize yeah there we go so that minimize it um and if we click back on it that'll come back up okay cool so i'm gonna put the lower back on there but and then secondary click which is your left click uh that'll get you to the menu so boom normal yeah but you can make changes to that you can have it to where it shows something else or you can switch this all around and that's the whole purpose of this tweak tool and so you can modify it so it'll work for you now the title bar buttons uh you could change these which is super cool this is one reason i liked it because uh i used to like to try to make my system look kind of like mac os so i use some of the backgrounds and all that stuff or whatever um but with this you know you can move your buttons over to the left like on a mac so you got your your clothes you know minimize you know maximize but you can move them all to the left and that'll work for every you know application see how i moved it all to the to the left that's super dope you know that you can actually do that but let's uh move it back to the right <clears throat> And you can also turn off the maximize and minimize buttons if you want to. Uh, now, Windows, here's some more uh, changes that you can make. So, attach model dialog. Uh, window on model dialog windows are attached to their parent window and cannot be moved. Okay, not sure what that is. Model, I don't know. But center new windows, so you can turn that on. So, every time it opens up a new window, it'll center it. So that's that's just uh something you know that may benefit you yeah and looks like it will because i i, I kind of don't like how it uh it opens up based on where your mouse is at see um and and if the application opens up pretty quick it's gonna open up you know right next to where you put your mouse at what what well where you had your mouse at uh but if you change it or if you change that to uh center you know no matter where you you know open the open a file you know as far as your mouse it'll open it in the center of the page so that's super cool now resize with secondary click uh so let's see resize with mess let's see what does that do now this i don't know resize with i don't know resize i don't know man that's that one's baffles me i have to look in to see what that one actually does but uh, the Windows Action Key is super key, uh, and that's what I was talking about. Uh, that's typically your Windows key. Uh, you know how they got you got the Windows button on your uh, keyboard. The super that's the super key, what they call in uh, Linux. Now here we go, Windows Focus. So you can modify this as well. Click to focus. Uh, windows are focused when they are clicked. So essentially, um, like if you click on the window, it'll focus it. If you click back on the other one it'll focus on that one uh focus on hover so if i hover it should if i hover on it it does focus on it see how it's focusing you can see the change in the focus uh yeah i hope hopefully that's recording it but you can see the focus changes to that window you see what i'm saying 
and then secondary click windows is focused when hovering with the pointer hovering the desktop removes focus form uh the previous window okay yeah i don't know about that one but raise window when focused so you can also raise that window when it's focused and you have to have the focus on so boom all you gotta do is move your mouse over it and it'll bring it up so that's beneficial as well you know what i'm saying super dope uh but i'm gonna turn that back off but yeah that's some of those features for the tweet tweet tool you know what i'm saying and let me show you guys the current version of the tweet tool is uh 42 dot beta uh that's the current version right now and they'll take you to the home page for the actual uh tweet tool but i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully this helps you with customizing your ubuntu install and you can actually install this tool on ubuntu 22.10 as well it's available on over there as well to install like i said with that version of ubuntu you may run into some bugs uh but this has been tested on the long-term supported release which is where i recommend you install it you know what i'm saying you're less likely to run into any issues but please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions please comment down in the comments below and of course keep it techie